In this video, we'll build a reusable kaleidoscope effect using RayTK. Download the toolkit talks using the link in the video description. Get the RayTK 0.41 talks file or whatever version is current, and then go up to the root of your project and drop it in. Then go back into the project comp and clear out anything that's there by default. Create a movie file in top. And then select the file that you want to use for testing. Then drag out of that and create a null top. And then we're going to do that three more times so that we have a chain of four of them. Then select the middle two and right-click in an open spot in the network and choose Collapse Selected. Rename the comp to Kaleidoscope. And then navigate inside. Rename the first null to Input Video and the second to Output Video. Then open RayTK's palette using the Alt-R shortcut and we're going to create a texture field. Drag the input video onto its texture parameter and change the extend mode to mirror. And then expand the scale parameter and we're going to replace this one with an expression. OP, single parentheses, quote, input video, and then another quote, close parentheses, dot aspect. Then open the palette again with Alt-R and create a modulo polar and connect the texture field to the first input. Open the palette one more time and create a render 2D and connect the modulo polar to its input. Then on the render 2D, expand the resolution parameter we're going to go back over to the texture field, copy the expression that we used for the scale, then go back to render 2D, and for the first part of the resolution, paste that in and change aspect to width. Then for the second part, we're going to do the same thing, paste in the expression and change it to height. Then connect the first output on the render 2D to the output video null. Go back over to the modulo polar and switch the mirror type to mirror. Then right click in an open spot in the network and choose customize parent component. Under the page name field, type in kaleidoscope and click the add page button. Then in the par name field, type in enable and make sure the type here is set to toggle and hit the Add Par button. Set the default to On, and then go back to the Par Name field and type in Level. Change the type here to Float, and hit the Add Par button one more time. And we're going to change the default to One. Then go over to your Modular Polar, and take the Repetitions field, and drag it into the dialog and choose Set Reference Expression on Source and then change the style from float to ant. And then we're going to drag the pre-rotate parameter and again do reference expression and then do the same thing for the rotate parameter. Then expand the rotate parameter. And we're gonna add to the end of this expression plus 180 divided by me uh, par dot repetitions and make sure to capitalize the first letter there. Then we can close the component editor dialog. Create a switch top and connect the input video to it. And then also connect the first output of the render 2D. And then connect the output of that to the output video null. On the switch, enable the blend feature and then expand the index parameter. 
And we're going to replace this with an expression parent, open parentheses, close parentheses, dot par, dot enable, times parent, parentheses, dot par, dot level. Then navigate up one level and right click your kaleidoscope comp and choose save component talks and choose the location to save the file. And now you can drop that into any project and you'll have a kaleidoscope effect ready to go.